I'd like to give you a quick tour of the BB Learn shell that we're using for this class this semester. I'm using what's called a blended or an inverted format, and so a lot of the content that you'd normally get in a class like this in a lecture, I've moved online. And what that does is it allows us to spend more time in the classroom going through your questions, dealing with problems that you as individuals are having, doing demonstrations and solving problems. So when you open up the BB Learn shell, the first thing you're going to come to is the announcements. First one will be right on the top here. You can see course materials, and that'll take you to where all the, the content is. And what I'm going to do is each week I'll post right here in announcements kind of what's going on for the week. So you can see here the first week of the semester, um, we have a, sh a quick little list of what's going on. And class meets Monday, Wednesdays, and Friday. So you can see I have three columns here. There's the online prep and reading. These are the items that um, you need to have completed before the particular days of class. The in-class topic here tells us what, um, what we're going to be talking about in class. Typically, Mondays and Wednesdays will be demonstrations and, uh, and fielding specific questions. And then on Fridays, we will spend more time going over homework assignments and, and very specific questions. In the last column here is a list of exactly uh, what, what, what should be due. Those are things that you have to either hand in or do online. You can see on the left here, course there's some links that go directly to the course materials. Um, we have this announcements. And then you can, the best place to get the actual due dates in BB Learns, if you click on grades, it'll list all the assignments that are due with their due dates in one place. And then we have links directly to the different topics here. So if we go to the, the course materials, what you're going to come to is the main page for course materials. At the top here, I have some course resources. Here's where you're going to find the syllabus, schedule, some lecture notes, and whatnot. Um, announcements will bring you back to the announcements. And then this module is the one you're looking at. And you'll see we have the different topics listed here. And so each week, um, the way that we have it structured, I'll show you the, the course structure here, is um, if we look at the course structure for the class, this is the something I've developed for this class. And you'll, <clears throat> you'll see here that typically, if we look at a two-week sequence, on Wednesdays, the online material will be available for the next week. So what I want you to do is, as soon as that's available, I want you to go in there and browse through the topics and, and bring any questions you have on, to class on those Wednesdays and Fridays. We won't be talking about it that week, but this will give you the opportunity to clear up any questions you have. You'll be expected to go through the modules, um, do the readings, watch the videos, do practice assignments, take little quizzes, and have those all completed, you can see here, by a Sunday. So each Sunday, say about midnight, is when everything will be due. So th then, um, and then the cycle should repeat itself each week. So this upper bar is what's going on online. In the face-to-face -face class, what happens is on Mondays and Wednesdays, we'll be doing little mini lectures and demos. Again, I'm not going to go everything over everything I expect you to know. So if you if there's something you want me to go over in class, you need to you need to bring those questions to class. I've got a few things that I will be doing for sure. And then Fridays, I'm going to reserve for homework assignment assistance. So if you haven't quite finished the homework, the homework's always due at 5 p.m. on Friday, um, you know, bring your, bring your assignments and we can talk about it. I can answer questions and things like that. So that's the structure of the course. If you go back to the main page here, I'll be using, uh, I'll be posting the notes that I put up on the board. I'll put them in this directory here. And then if I have any handouts or reference materials are here, and of course we have the the textbook for this particular course so that's the structure of the course now each topic that we'll be dealing with I have them structured in here as well so let's just jump to let's say topic three force vectors that'll be about our third and fifth week third fourth week of the semester the way I have this organized at the beginning is an overview so this is what we're going to be doing these are the things that you I'm expecting you to be able to do at the end of the, the um, the module. I have a little summary of what 
what the deliverables are. And then what I've done is made these little study guides and I've made them so that when you click on them they open a new page. And I find that these are a nice little guide for you. So what you can do is you can go through these little study guides and you can kind of see a little bit of a summary of what I'm expecting. Some of them are long like this, some of them are just short, one, two, three, do this, do this, do this. And they walk you through little things that I recommend you to do uh, here and there just to to guide you through what I'm expecting um, in class. So if we go back through here, the other things you'll find in the modules, the next thing is typically some sort of reading assignment. So I do want you to go into the textbook and read a few chapters. And then I'll give you some different um, practice. So for instance, some of these are practice. These are, are little quizzes that you can take over and over. It'll change the numbers for you. Um, and they work directly with the reading. So some of these will have an example problem and then a practice, then an example, then a practice. And then I also have little videos. Some of them are embedded here, but they're basically right on YouTube. So you can go right to YouTube and open them up. And once they open, you can see I've got a whole bunch of different videos in, in YouTube that we can do. This one's eight minutes long. And they're basically just little lecture videos. And the nice thing is you can fast forward through them and go back and you can just see how, how to solve different problems. So I have a whole bunch of these that I've developed for this course and I thought they'd be very useful for you. Again, more practice assignments in here, and then typically in red I'll have what I call a test your knowledge. So basically this is the quiz at the end of each little chapter that you do it at the end of uh, by Sunday night at midnight. Finally, there's some uh, if there's something that I need you to do in class, I might have a little list here. Click to lecture note, and then after the classes is where I list the homework assignments. So you click on this, you'll get the assignment details um, for the week. So this is generally the way the course is going to be structured. Again, when you go into here, you'll find, um, you'll, you'll, you'll land on the announcements page. And from the announcements page, it should give you a good, clear idea of what's expected of you each week. There's week one. Week two, I'll try to have uh, one or two weeks ahead of time so you can, you can see what's going on in the future. So... Hopefully this will help you navigate the, uh, the BB Learn show, and I hope you enjoy the course.